Welcome back everybody. Before I get to uh, today's video, um, Carmen has been showing me dogs on like Instagram and stuff and they're just so cute. I kind of want a dog. Um, she actually showed me this one of a, it was a group of three dogs at this animal shelter and one of them was licking the window and I'm like, I hardcore related to that dog. I'm like, if I could have any dog, I want that one. So here's Alfie. <laughs> Alfie, come here. Hey buddy. <laughs> yep. So we impulse got a dog today. He's, he's a rescue. <laughs> he's trying to bite the camera. Alfie, Alfie. This is Alfie. He's adorable. He's four months old. We're not exactly sure what he is yet, but he's cute. <laughs> and here's some really cute B-roll of him. time in here. It's gonna be a shop dog, huh buddy? Huh buddy? I'll let him explore the shop a little bit, but I figured I'd add a little something to this video so it's not all just cute b-roll footage of Alfie, even though some of you probably would like that. Um, hey buddy! But I was thinking a little bit about after we got him and uh, let me tell you the story of how we got him first. So we Carmen follows this, uh, the Humane Society adoption place on Instagram um, just to keep an eye out for animals. And we've been wanting a dog for a little while now. And we just couldn't find the like right reason to get one or the right dog or it was hard to justify it. But Carmen found a picture of actually this guy and his brother and sister at the pound. And they, they were... There were two white ones and a black one, and one of the white ones in the picture <laughs> was licking the window. And she showed it to me, I'm like, I really want the one that's licking the window. So we had some free time, and we went by. Um, oh, hey buddy. We went by and looked at them, and kind of like instantly fell in love. We're like, show us the one that was licking the window. So they brought him out, and he, uh, we instantly fell in love with him. He was really cute and playful and like, Kind. and um, so we we basically fell in love with him right there and then as we were there 
we found out that there was a line forming outside for these specific dogs. Because um, the, the picture was posted of them. Everybody was notified that those dogs were there literally like a day before we were there. So we went to check them out and as we were there, a line was forming to, to get to see these dogs and adopt them. So as we were in there, the original plan was to go look at him and see what we think and then do a little bit more running around that day and then go back in the afternoon and if, if we still really wanted him we would pick him up but as we were there and the line was forming and everything um, we realized if we don't get this dog now then he's going to be picked up by another family so how does this thing come off my dude there we go anyways <laughs> Um, anyways, we were, so we were there and as the line was forming, we are like, either we get this dog now or he's going to be gone by the time we come back later in the day. And it just felt right. And I guess that's the kind of, uh, kind of the message I'm trying to bring out of this is don't ignore the things that feel right, you know? Um, I think too many times people will have something and it feels really right to them, but they make excuses like, I can't justify it, I don't have the money, I don't... Um, I don't have the time or any of this and they, they end up not doing something that they really really want to do because they come up with excuses even if it does feel right and this could apply to a lot of things like <laughs> like getting an animal like getting a puppy like Alfie yeah um, here I'll let you down or or it could be something like starting a YouTube channel that's that's one thing that I was struggling with is I've been making excuses for a long time even though I really wanted to pursue the YouTube channel um, it could be with things like quitting quitting your job because you don't like it or going to another job even if it pays less and but it's something that you'll enjoy more or hobbies or whatever um, I, th I think the only advice I'm getting from this is don't ignore the things that feel right to you um, just because you can't, be, just because you have excuses. There's always a million reasons not to do something, but you gotta find the reason to do something. And that's basically what happened with Alfie, is we, it felt right at the time. We had a lot of reasons why not to do it, but we fell in love with him, and now he's in a really good home. He's adorable, he makes both me, Carmen and I very happy. And I don't regret it at all. <laughs> And I think you'll find that if you if you don't ignore the things that feel right and you actually do them, I think you'll find that you enjoy the thing a lot more than you regret than you'll ever regret it because something about you is telling you it's the right thing to do. So, anyways, you'll be seeing Alfie in a lot of our videos. He'll he'll be with us everywhere. We're gonna take him everywhere with us, and he is gonna get bigger. But before I go. Um, I want to let you guys know we ordered a DNA test for him because we actually don't know what kind of dog he is. We can speculate and we know maybe what he is. I know he's a mixture of, uh, he's a mutt for sure. But we just ordered a DNA test and it's going to tell us exactly what kind of mix he is, what kind of dogs are mixed into his breed. He, it's going to tell us some things like how big he's expected to get and stuff like that. So. Um, that'll probably be in an upcoming video soon and I want to know from you guys leave it in the comments What kind of dog do you think he is? Alfie! Alfie, come here! Come here! Come here, buddy! Oh. I want to know what kind of dog you guys think he is. So leave it in the comments um, and We will let you know if you're right in the upcoming video So if you don't mind helping me out if you enjoy these videos and you want to see more of Alfie um, hit the subscribe button. It'll help me out a lot. Make sure to hit the like button for So I know you guys actually like me try and avoid the dislike button But if if you don't like my videos and you want me to know that I understand Alfie, Come here Come here buddy. Come here Remember Don't ignore the things that feel right. I love you all Anyways, love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Say goodbye to Alfie. I don't think he loves it. I don't think he loves it. It's okay, buddy.
It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Good boy, you didn't shake. He's like, oh, what are you doing?